I'm not even sure what to think. <laughs> What's going on guys? My name is Jordan Miller. I'm the owner and founder of Breathe Heavy. And in this video, I'm going to break down yet another legal threat I received from Britney Spears' former business manager, Lou Taylor. But before we dive into the video, let's play that intro. So if you're new to this channel, welcome. I'm sure this will be a very interesting video for you to check out. I do suggest before you continue watching this one to go to the video, which I'll link in the description below and check out the video I made about Miss Taylor threatening to sue me a few months ago. That will kind of paint you a picture as to what I had to deal with a few months ago. And here we are again. Just to kind of give you a summary, Miss Taylor is someone who is essentially loathed in the Britney fandom community. It is believed that Miss Taylor was a very huge detriment to Britney's career, and people are under the impression that she may or may not have allegedly stolen a lot of Britney's money. There's just way too much information to include in this video about all of what Miss Taylor has allegedly or not allegedly done. But if you are in the know, I'd love for you to drop some facts in the comments. Now for this particular legal threat, this demand letter that I received, it has to do with this. On Breathe Heavy, there's a well-known community called Exhale. One of my members posted a summary from a woman who goes by the name of The Surprise Witness, who broke down what she claims is Taylor's scheme to siphon Britney's money. Part of these claims is that a company called Stonebridge moved around $500 million to a company offshore and it is believed that that could be Britney's money. Now, before I get into what Ms. Taylor threatened me with this time, allow me to read to you what was being said. This right here is a topic that was posted on Exhale, and these are the need to know things. Stonebridge is the name of the company that Jamie Lynn asked to move the money to. Lou Taylor worked for this company as president for nine years. The current president of Stonebridge, Mitch Martin, has been listed as president of Lou Taylor's company. Stonebridge's value went up by around 600 million in 2020. In 2021, their value went down by 600 million. This company was created in 2020. You do the math. Could this be a coincidence? Sure, but a very strange one. Now I'll link to this topic in the description below as well so you can read what was being said as well as the hundreds of comments members on Exhale left. There's also an hour long video breaking this all down in that topic as well. Long story short, Britney had a trust. That trust was managed by someone else until Jamie Lynn gave Stonebridge permission to manage it. Stonebridge's assets increased $500 million. People noticed Stonebridge opens a new offshore account in Panama and the assets go down by $500 million. Allegedly. Lou Taylor is refuting this and is twisting my arm to retract what was already said. Now this is similar to what happened to me before because I don't want to pursue any legal action because I feel like it would be a huge waste of time and energy and my efforts are better spent elsewhere. Just keep in mind that this is not really my choice. Now they're requesting that I remove these posts which feels like a huge <laughs> form of censorship, which I'm not willing to comply to at this point. However, I will include their statement in the post, which if you venture to now, you'll see the retraction, as well as this following statement that they gave me that I'm going to simply copy and paste and relay that information there. This is what their statement reads. Dear Mr. Miller, as you know, <laughs> which by the way, they say as you know, because this obviously is not the first time they've reached out to me. This law firm is litigation counsel for Lou Taylor and TriStar Sports and Entertainment Group. Breath Heavy has recently posted statements that Lou Taylor's investment firm allegedly moved around $800,000 to an offshore account. So allegedly, I guess doesn't matter. With reference to Stonebridge LTD Panama, see screenshots below. These statements are false and defamatory of my clients. Ms. Taylor does not own or control any entity called Stonebridge and did not move any money at all relating to Britney Spears since Ms. Taylor and TriStar withdrew as business manager for the estate last year. They have had nothing to do with any funds relating to the estate since that time. Demand is hereby made that Breathe Heavy removes these posts immediately. They are causing considerable damage to my clients and my clients will have no alternative but to file suit for defamation if these false and defamatory posts are not removed immediately. All rights are reserved. So this time they didn't request that I apologize, which I appreciate. At the same time, <laughs> this legal threat is to me not the way to go about this. This whole Free Britney movement and the conservatorship and Ms. Taylor is all just such a cluster 
And it would be greatly appreciated if there was an open dialogue of communication and actual evidence to dispute these claims instead of just saying these are not true, prove that they're not true. However, I'm not willing to go down that route and twist her arm in return because I right now don't have the resources to do that. Though I am a big proponent of where there's smoke, there's fire, and I see a huge cloud of hazy smoke. Oh, hello again. It's me from the future. I just wanted to pop in and say that I started a new vlog channel. I'm taking people behind the scenes of what it's like running Breathe Heavy, which is a very interesting endeavor. I'd love to have you join me on this vlog channel, so I'll link to it in the description below. Please subscribe. It would mean everything to me. All right, back to the video. Now, I would like to take a closer look at these claims causing considerable damage to Ms. Taylor's reputation. Ms. Taylor has not been held accountable for any of these actions that she may or may not have taken. And unfortunately for her, the problem with these kinds of actions is that it's going to only fuel the fire and going to cause even more attention to be placed upon her. Now, that's not a threat. That's just simply a byproduct of taking action like this. I am at least going to be open to the fact that all these claims that they're making in this email and that Ms. Taylor didn't have anything to do with the hundreds of millions of dollars being dispersed around. However, it's my opinion that Ms. Taylor has caused some very serious damage to Britney over the years. Now I would suggest to Ms. Taylor if she was open to it, to having a dialogue with Britney fans so everyone can get a better understanding as to what's going on. I do fear that that ship has sailed and the crack in the glass is too great to ignore at this point. I think that you may have been someone that has done some profound damage to others. And though I can't confirm or deny that, that's just my own outlook on everything based off of the 13 years that I've been covering this. I think that there comes a time in life where it's time to cut your losses and learn from mistakes that you may have made. Whether that means that you make your own apology towards Britney Spears or towards the fandom, I would imagine, even though you may fall on a lot of deaf ears, the act of you doing that is going to change your life. And you may not be able to see that, but I assure you it will. By the time you see this, the retraction will be in place, the statement will be out there. And if you guys have any questions or concerns or want to spill some facts in the comments, I'm very much open to that. All right, guys, that does it for this video. If you haven't already, please make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you so much for watching. It's greatly appreciated and I'll see you in my next video. Outro.